gonna be my lover, you gotta get with my friend. Appearing on Stars in Their Eyes tonight, from Chester, Lisa Baldwin, Joseph Campbell from County Armagh, from Kettering, Peter Bultitude, Nicola Good from Swansea, and Kevin Sim from Leyland in Lancashire. Now, here's your host, Matthew Kelly. Welcome to Stars in the Eyes. It may be cold outside, but in here we're hotter than Ainsley Harriet roasting a hot chilli pepper on a Cajun barbecue in Death Valley. Because tonight we've cooked up another fantastic five-course feast of fabulous music with five-star guests giving their all to win a seat at the top table of the live grand final. And do you know, after ten series, some people still ask, are your guests miming? Well, let me tell you, every note, every breath, every word is absolutely live and the only person dubbed on this show is me. Because in real life, I sound like one of the Mitchells from EastEnders. <laughs> Peggy Mitchell, unfortunately. But to quote the American diner, that's enough waffle. First up tonight is star guest number one, who's at the storefront of fashion. My name's Lisa Baldwin. I'm 19 years old, and I live in Chester. I work at Warehouse in Chester. I'm in-store VM, which means I merchandise the stock. That involves monitoring the best sellers, drawing up a floor plan with my manager and doing the window display. We've got a really nice team here. We all get on very well and I love dealing with the public. One day I went down to the fitting room and there was a lady, red-faced, with a look of horror on her face. She'd actually got stuck in a skirt, so I had to then get some scissors and cut her out of the skirt. <laughs> the person I'm going to be, she's one of my idols. I've always admired her Nikki, for her dancing and performing and I think I've followed her so much that I began to sing like her. <laughs> the thing I'm probably most looking forward to is actually being able to get up there and perform a whole act with professional dancers and feel like a star. <laughs> well, she won't just feel like a star tonight, she'll be one. Please welcome Lisa Baldwin! <laughs> Visual merchandiser. It's like domestic engineer, that, isn't it? <laughs> Mind you, you take your life in your hands doing that job, don't you? Because it do. wasn't just the woman with the no. coat in the dress. No, no, no. Um, there was a man and a woman going down to the fitting room one day, and I hurried down the stairs because only women are allowed in the fitting room. Mm. So I said very politely, I'm sorry, it's, it's women only down there. And uh, the answer was, I am a woman. So <laughs> I quickly ran very fast back up the stairs. That must have been terrible for you, because you're a very quiet and shy person. Uh, yes, I am. I think um, tonight, I mean, my mum and dad haven't seen me do what I'm about to do tonight. Yeah. So um, it'll be a big shock. Okay. So how did you come to be the person that you're going to be? Um, well, I've followed her since she was in a soap. Um, and I've been dancing to her songs ever since I was little. So um, open dancing are, are two big clues, and uh, just for people playing the game at home, just give us one or two more clues, will you? Right, she's been described as a multiple personality pop princess, and she sang a duet with Jason Donovan. Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Lisa. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue! <laughs> and neither who became a superstar. Tonight's singing live, Lisa Baldwin is Kylie Minogue!
Oh, great, thank you, Steve. Great. You've worked so hard on it, haven't you? I have, yes, getting fit. Are you exhausted? Uh, yes. <laughs> and you're the quiet and shy girl, are you? <laughs> I think you are, actually, because your mum's out there going, oh, I never knew she could do that. I never knew she could do that. <laughs> yeah, I know, but well done, you were smashing. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Baldwin as Kylie Minogue. <laughs> thank you, Nobody had a good time on this show. Lisa was a bonzer, Kylie. And here's someone else who's up for the crack. He's on the road in County Armagh. It's star guest number two. My name is Joe Campbell, and I'm from Lurgan, County Armagh, and I'm age 23. I work as a roller man for a road contracting company in Belfast, and my job basically is rolling out the patches, reinstating footpaths, roads, and relaying curbs. In the past, we've done uh, manage a troubled area. And I suppose in my time I have seen some pretty bad sites that you would only see on TV. With the peace process, you feel less at risk when you're working out in the streets. You're not always looking over your shoulder. The fellas at work uh, at the start were keeping me going about stars in their eyes. But when I actually got through to being on the show, they couldn't believe it, as myself, I couldn't believe it. My family, uh, they're just overcome with disbelief. And the fact that somebody, a small town person like me, is actually going to be on television doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So now they're all behind me and wish me all the best. Now that's what I call a rock and roller. Please welcome Joe Campbell. <laughs> so uh, you're from a very big family, I know that. How many brothers and sisters you got? I have uh, eight brothers and three sisters and seven half brothers and sisters for by that. Right, so, so just enough then, really? Just enough. <laughs> So, are you, you the littlest of the family? Yeah, the youngest, Did yeah. Did you get overlooked at all? Oh, not really. No, no. I was basically the tension seeker of the family. Oh. <laughs> but they're thrilled, aren't they, that you're here? Yeah, yeah, they it's really are. It's great to have the backing of, uh, of a really big family, isn't it? It is, it is. Your mates, Drew and Leanne, are in the audience tonight. They and are. They're your best mates, and they're responsible for you being here, aren't they? Yeah. How did they get you here? Well, at the end of the show, uh, they phoned up and put me down on the application form, so I filled it in. There you are, you Sent see. it away. See, it's always worth phoning up at the end of the show if you think you can do it, if you think you're hard enough. <laughs> so, you were brought up on country music, weren't you? Yes, I was, yeah. Uh, and that has a lot to do with the person that you're going to be. Yeah. He has fantastic record sales, doesn't he? Yes, he's uh, over 60 million yeah. record sales to date. And uh, his last album? Rope in the Wind. Yeah was the first country album to go straight into the American charts at number one. Tell us who you're going to be tonight. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks! <laughs> Slip on your steps and then settle up for the king of country. Tonight, singing live, Joe Campbell is Garth Brooks!
You see, all those years of trying to be the centre of attention finally paid off, didn't they? I hope so. <laughs> so, so was it worth it? Yeah. I agree. Every minute of it. I think you're a natural, I really do. Thanks very and much. And we must thank Drew and Leanne for sending you here, for making that phone yeah. call at the end of the show. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Campbell as Garth Brooks. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. <laughs> Our next star guest gets his hands on supermodels every day. And he gets paid for it. Let's star guest number three show you how. My name is Pete Bultitude. I'm 23 years old. I work at a car preparation centre as a valeter in Corby, Northamptonshire. My job entails cleaning, valeting the inside and outside of brand new cars. There are thousands and thousands of cars on the site and I um, basically just have to valet as many as I can. It's nice to be behind the uh, wheel of a car that nobody's ever driven before. I actually realised that I sounded like the person I'm going to be tonight when I got up to sing at a karaoke. Somebody walked into the room thinking the actual record by the person I'm going to be was on the disco, but it wasn't. It was actually me singing his song. Being on Stars in Their Eyes is quite incredible, really. I've seen so many of the series, and to actually know that I'm going to walk through those doors is one of the most amazing experiences of my life. And into the studio of stars, read the Valley of Cars, Peter Bultitude. <laughs> now, your, your Vic is in the audience now with your mum yes, and dad. Yes, she is. Yes, She's when, out there. Tell us about uh, when you met her. Um, well, I met her when she was 13 and I was 14. Um, it was the day before her birthday, and uh, we started going out the day after her birthday. And then you eventually got married when? Yes, 1996. We got married, and uh, we've now got a little son. I love stories <laughs> like that. Yeah. Now, you're a big fan of the person that you're going to be, aren't you? Yes, very much so. Um, he, we had one of his songs played at our wedding. Um, and you have a dream as well, don't you? Oh, yes, I'd love to be his drum technician. Now, drumming is very important to this person, isn't it? Absolutely. Tell us a little bit more about him. As a child actor, he appeared on stage mm -hmm. in Oliver as the Artful Dodger. Yeah, and he made a couple of films, didn't he? Yes, he was in A Hard Day's Night and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And just give us one more clue that I'll give it away. Uh, he was the only person to appear in two countries on Live Aid. And I think we know who it's going to be, so tell us who you're going to be tonight, Peter. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Phil Collins. Phil Collins <laughs> from Genesis to Revelation. Tonight, singing live, Peter Bultitude is Phil Collins.
it's extraordinary. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, meant for us. Oh, was it for you? Oh, <laughs> did you enjoy yourself? Oh, thoroughly, yeah. It's good here, isn't it? Brilliant. I know, but when you walk through that door, you could have been him. <laughs> could have been him. And then the voice on top of everything else. Marvellous. <laughs> well done. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Bultitude as Phil Collins. <laughs> well, we've already seen three fantastic star guests, but can we keep it up? Of course we can. This is stars in their eyes. We can keep it up all night, if we're paid to. <laughs> After the break, we'll meet one of country music's newest stars and a rocker who has brought the sound of the 60s into the 90s. Join us in a couple of minutes for more magnificent melodic makeovers. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to Stars in Their Eyes. This is the show that's a living jukebox. In fact, we're the only jukebox in Britain that doesn't play Bat Out of Hell every ten minutes. If you cast your minds back to part one, Kylie, Garth and Phil went down a storm, so batten down the hatches, cos our next two star guests will blow you away. Because for star guest number four, life's a beach and then you fly. I'm Nicola Good. I'm 19 years old. I live just on the outskirts of Swansea. And when the weather's good, I like to come down to the beach with my sister Amanda because we have lovely beaches down here in South Wales. My sister and I are very different. She does not sing, but she's very happy for me to be on the show. Last year I tried for Crystal Gale and I got through to the shortlist. So this year I tried again with someone completely different and I've made it onto the show. I've always watched Stars and Rise since I was very small and I've always wanted to be on there. This is a great achievement for me and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. If I was to dedicate this performance to anyone, it would have to be my family and friends because they've stuck by me from the very beginning. So thank you. Flying high tonight, please welcome Nicola Good. <laughs> Music is very big in your life, and not just because you're a Welsh person. Oh, it is. My grandfather has a, an organ, and when I was little, I would always practice a little bit on that. Yeah. And then we decided to have lessons, yeah. so I'm currently doing my grade 8. Great. That's the highest you can get, grade yes. 8, really, isn't it? So you're doing well on that. And he also had a karaoke machine, Yes. so I was singing on that as well. Oh, well, well, you've had a good background, haven't you? And who was it who discovered that you could be the person that you're going to be? My mother heard me singing along with the record and thought I sounded very similar, mm -hmm. so I practised and... Now, this is a very modern person that you're going to be, isn't it? She is. She's a Canadian singer. Yes. And she's a, um, a descendant of the Ojibwe tribe. Oh, well, I think we all know who it is, don't we? <laughs> and the Ojibwe. <laughs> you tell us about the song you're going to sing tonight. Tonight I'm going to sing this song, which reached number 10 in the UK charts in February 1998. So it's very modern. Tell us who you're going to be, Nicola. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Shania Twain. Shania Twain! The new country sensation across the world. Tonight, singing live, Nicola Good is Shania Twain!
You know, I always think it's a terrible responsibility to tell people you come from Wales and then have to go and sing because they're all expecting something. But you are living proof that Wales produces marvellous singers. You've really taken to this, haven't you? Yes. Bet you want to do it again, don't I you? I do, I do. <laughs> I thought you might. And that transformation really suits you as well. You Thank look you. lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicola Good as Shania Twain! Still one star guest to go before our studio audience votes, so still everything to play for. But for star guest number five, the chips are down. Good morning, Kevin. How are you this morning? My name's Kevin Sim. I'm from Leyland near Preston, and I'm 18 okay. years old. At the moment, I'm studying performing arts at Runshire College in Leyland, and I'm in a band, which I dedicate a lot of my time to. I also work part-time in a fish and chip shop in Manchester. The thing I like the most, about working at the chip shop is the people I work with are really nice and get on with them. My friends and family have been very supportive throughout my auditions and everything for Stars and Rise. And uh, my mum and dad especially, because they've always stuck by me and they were really proud when I got on. Stars and Rise, the show, it's my favourite programme, favourite programme ever. I've always dreamed of getting onto it and never ever thought I would. I watch it in the chippy where I work. I've always dreamed of standing there frying my chips and watching myself on that TV. Uh, walking through the doors, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I think that's when it's going to hit me. Hopefully I'll survive. <laughs> Proving it's not chips with everything, here's Kevin Sim. <laughs> Look at this face. Look at this face. Isn't this a face of innocence? <laughs> Butter wouldn't melt in your mouth. You had a terrible reputation at school, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. Why? Uh, I was... I was basically in with all the class clowns and everything, and I became one of them. You were a bad boy, <laughs> weren't you? Uh, yeah, a bit. <laughs> yeah, but something happened to turn that round, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Uh, one time I was singing in the kitchen to an Elton John song, and my sister caught me at it, and she said I was really good, so... So, and that led on to what? Yeah, I found out about a Christmas concert, yeah. uh, and I wanted to audition for it, so I dragged loads of my friends along with me. I yeah. made them do it, audition first, and then... They were pretty useless, so they made me look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> now, you tried to keep this very quiet, didn't you? Yeah, did you? And what happened? Uh, my mum, who's got the biggest mouth in the world, <laughs> went around and told everybody <laughs> <laughs> before even I knew. Well done, mother. Well done. Now, this person that you're going to be tonight is uh, a bit unusual. He's, uh, he's had uh, some pretty special backing singers, hasn't he? Yeah, he was backed by the Spice Girls. Right. And we'll know the song that you're going to sing tonight. Why? Uh, because... The song that I'm going to sing is the theme tune to Chris Evans's TFI Friday. Tell us who you're going to be, Kevin. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Simon Fowler from Ocean Colour Scene. Simon Fowler, King of 90s Rhythm and Blues. Tonight, sing live, Kevin Sim is Simon Fowler. Sing as you can 
What? What? <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, good. Uh, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we got a hint of the bad boy there. <laughs> do you know what? I love that. I love that dance. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, he can do it. I can't. So, <laughs> well done, uh. ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Sim as Simon Fowler. <laughs> Five amazing performances, but our studio audience must choose just one to go through to our live grand final. It's a tough choice and I don't envy them. But in case they've not yet made up their minds, here's a quick reminder of all five. Lisa Baldwin, step back in time to become Kylie Minogue. Rock and roller man, Joseph Campbell, was country king Garth Brooks. The very polished Peter Bultitude was Phil Collins. So take a look at me now. High flyer Nicola Good was the new star of New Country, Shania Twain. Still the one I kiss. Good night. Chipper Kevin Sim was Ocean Colour Scenes, Simon Fowler. And the moment of truth, studio audience, cast your votes now. And while the studio audience vote, let's take a peek backstage to find out how our star guests felt about it all. I really, really loved it out there. It's a fantastic feeling. When I went through the doors, just felt so excited. I just wanted to go out there and do my stuff. <laughs> the best bit about performing was just feeling like, feeling like Phil Collins. It was great. I can't get over it. This is not what I would normally wear, and I think it's brilliant. The best bit about performing tonight was uh, the cheer at the end. Electric. So who is going through to our live grand final? Will it be Kylie Minogue, Garth Brooks, Phil Collins, Shania Twain, or Simon Fowler? And the winner is Phil Collins! What? What? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Why don't you believe it? Oh. <laughs> I know, strong competition tonight, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I'm really pleased for you. <laughs> you are shocked, aren't you? I am completely shocked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better get your breath back because you're going to have to sing um, it again. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to have to shave your head again. Uh. <laughs> As always, the stand of our star guests was fantastically high, but tonight Peter won our studio audience over with a stunning performance that's given him a well-deserved place in our live grand final. Don't miss five more great star guests next week, but tonight, once again, enjoy the brilliant vocals of Peter Bultitude as Phil Collins. Good night. Well done, Peter. <laughs> you leave without a trace when I stand here taking every breath with you Ooh. you're the only one who really knew me at all so take a look at me now well there's just an empty space and there's nothing left
you'd like to appear on Stars in Their Eyes, please call 0870 400 4000 and our famous doors could open for you. I wish I could just make you turn around 